Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Today we're talking about this Atomic Maverick 100 Ti. This is the widest ski in the Maverick collection, which enters its third year for 2024. Uh, and I like this ski a lot. And it's really interesting to me how they don't seem to have been adopted by as many skiers as we originally anticipated. When Atomic came out with this ski, given the popularity of things like the Bent 100, we kind of expected it to be a popular choice. And you don't see a tremendous amount of them in lift lines, whether you're here on the east or, or out west or across the country, or I haven't been to Europe for a long time, so I can't speak to that. But it just feels like a ski that is a little bit underrated. And, and I want to talk through why that might be and, and why it is a cool ski and, and a beneficial ski for a lot of skiers. So very, very versatile ski here. It is strong, it's powerful, we've got some metal in its build, but it's very versatile too. It does actually share some characteristics with that Bent 100 or even like the Backland 100. In fact, it is fascinating that Atomic has three skis that have very similar shapes that are all 100 underfoot, but if you like the Bent 100 and you want a little bit more power, or maybe maybe you've thought that through that, uh, this actually could be the best ski for you. So from a construction perspective, we've got a relatively lightweight wood core in this ski, and then thin metal laminates. And it's really cool how Atomic does this because the weight is quite impressive. So 1,715 grams in this ski, and I've got the 180 centimeter length here. So that's a lot of ski. That's a lot of surface area. There's just a lot going on here for a very, very low weight. And to achieve kind of the power and vibration damping of metal while retaining that weight is, is just a commendable feat. So I think that's a great place to start. The other really cool thing about the way that they build this ski is how they transition from vertical sidewall underfoot to more cap construction in the tips and tails. That actually exactly corresponds to where the rocker starts too, which we'll look at in a second. So basically what they're doing is they're creating this strong, powerful feel underfoot, but then allowing the tips and tails to be a little looser and a little more playful. Taking a look at shape, I mentioned that rocker profile, how it starts where the vertical sidewall ends. Hopefully you can see that on camera. Tail rocker starts about there. Tip rocker is notably more substantial, or at least a little longer than, than tail rocker. Um, gives the ski a little bit more float, a little better turn initiation in softer snow conditions. And I just think it's a really good way to design this ski. Uh, and then we do get Horizon Tech up here in the tip. So very, very good tip design here for soft snow, but then strong throughout the rest of the ski. Uh, and just very rewarding to ski. You know, it's kind of one of those skis where it literally doesn't matter where you're skiing or where you take it, you're gonna have a good time. On a groomer, it can lay down some really impressive carves, never really feels like it's losing edge grip. Sure, it's not as powerful as some skis on the market, say like, oh, I don't know, like a Mantra 102, that ski feels a little stronger and more precise on a groomer. But we're up in a 100 under foot width range here. Like we're not really focusing on groomer performance, or at least I think most people aren't when they get up here. And I do think in this category for most skiers, this is plenty. This is plenty of stability, plenty of strength, plenty of edge grip and then it's just that much more agile when you take it off trail. So in the trees, it feels pretty close to a Bent 100. It's not quite the same rocker profile, but it's not far off either. It is a stiffer flex pattern than something like a Bent 100, but it's not like break your leg stiff. Um, so I think that's, that's a cool way to think about it. And it's just, again, it's interesting that those skis have just gained so much popularity. And I think, I think if you were to make an objective analysis of the entire skiing population, there are more skiers that should be skiing this than a Bent 100. If you're a directional skier that likes to have some stability, I'd say Maverick 100 Ti is a better ski for you. 
it just hasn't really achieved that like iconic status that the bent skis have. So really great skis here. You know, they're even light enough that like you could put an atomic shift binding on here and use it as a touring ski too. I think that would be a perfectly reasonable thing to do even though Atomic has something like the Backland 100. You know, this would be a little bit more of a, a hybrid resort slash side country, back country ski. But yeah, really fun, strong underfoot, great vibration damping, feels powerful, feels strong, but then it's agile and playful and, and there's some fun factor to it as well. So that's the Maverick 100 from Atomic. Let us know if you have any questions about it and we will see you out there on the slopes.